But it doesn't sound like clapping. It's an X-rated podcast. It sounds like Rambo. Down with the kids. Down with Harambe. Just do it. It is recording. That Welcome. Was a fantastic start. Welcome to our fabulous, fabulous podcast. We're back. We are back. It's been a delayed response because I'm awful. But we're back with a vengeance, I think. Yeah, it's been me too. I mean, like, I've just been all over the shop. Like, everywhere. With life. With life. Life. Life's not good. But there's been loads of releases. And loads of stuff, things we can talk about. So, we've actually been proper nerds this time. And actually thought about some stuff that we can talk about. And hopefully it'll... Hopefully it'll be good. We'll, we'll get there. And we can always edit bits where I'm talking rubbish and out. And then just, there will just be like this really high pitched noise. And then, like, we come back to the kind of trans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh, so, what were we going to speak about first? There's been loads of gaming releases. Uh, it's been quite an exciting time. Probably why we haven't done a podcast because we've been too busy. Being excited, we've, we've just sat there like, oh my god so much stuff to do i think the first one was the red dead two F- finally <laughs> it's been do you know i was thinking it was more years than it was which is um since the first one which shows how desperate i am oh no it wasn't it was yeah so red red Redolver was 2004 and it was yeah i can't remember when when was red dead one released uh, it feels like it was years ago. That, w- that was years ago, I think. It does honestly feel like it's been like seven years. Oh my god, it was 2010. Oh. I probably should have had that on Google before. You did, so you did it. It just came out of your mind, really. <laughs> you knew that. You knew it. It's fine. So it's been, yeah, so it's been six years since the first one. Yeah. Um, Rockstar teased us with a couple of things on... Was it Instagram and Twitter? Yes, they had like this this red banner and it was like this little silhouette and I was like, oh, what could it be? We were like, red head, red head, red head's red coming. <laughs> and then we were presented with a trailer, which uh, which doesn't really show much. Do you, do you not like the trailer? Oh, I love the trailer, but I was like, okay, yes, scenery, it's all very pretty. Mm, it's beautiful. It's, it's, and, um, yeah. it's beautiful. I'm really glad... As an owner of a PS4, and I'm sure Lauren as well, that we get exclusive. Exactly. This is we what, get it first. So. This is what happens ha. when you have <laughs> a PC, an Xbox, and a PlayStation. Whatever it comes out, you'd be like, nope. But I don't use my Xbox because I'm not really into Xbox anymore. Oh, that's good. So. Yeah, I feel like I'm trying to get everyone to go over to PlayStation 4. But not that it's a valid reason, but it was just nice that it's like, ha, we're getting it before everyone else. Um, It'll be sweet. I can't wait to stream it. I can't wait to play it. And I just I just want to go back to the West with guns and stuff. Yeah, it's so, I mean, again, quite controversial. Not controversial. I always say that word. It's not even controversial. I think it's better than GTA. Actually, no. Well, I think the story. Yeah, you're right there. I would say you're right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Because yeah. I've said it to other people, and they've been like, "It's not." And I was like, "No, I honestly think Red Dead Redemption was better than GTA. Like storyline, feel of a game. Because what other games are like Red Dead Redemption? There isn't. I mean, like honestly, you did say it. The story is amazing. <laughs> well, Red Dead. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah. That would be a f- funny bit of the podcast. Um, it will yeah, be, I'd, yeah. There's not anything, there's not any other game like it, whereas um, GTA, oh, I don't know, I do love GTA, but there's so many other, well, are there so many other games out there? There's, is it Mafia that's just came out? Yeah, I haven't played Mafia. It. Do you like Mafia? I haven't played it. I haven't played the first one. I've watched so many LPs play the games, I feel I've lived them through them. Mm. But I recently bought, um, it was on sale on Steam, so I was like, yeah, I'll play Mafia 2. Oh, okay. But it, it looks like a really fun game. It looks interesting, exciting, and uh, you should have it gone. Yeah. Yeah, no, I will do. It's um, from the... Oh, okay, there's a free demo on Steam, so I'm going to download that actually today and um, see how that is, because um, from watching from watching the gameplay, 
um, trailers, I was like, oh, that actually looks really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it really, it, it's really good to be honest. There was another game that again was quite similar to um, Max Payne. Yes. <laughs> there you go. That's the game. There we go. And there was actually another one that was really similar. Not mm, not similar to GTA, but cars fighting was Sleeping Dogs. Yeah. Oh my lordy, that game. I loved Sleeping Dogs. Did you? I thought that was. Did you not like it? I was just like, it was very clunky on the Xbox 360. <laughs> I lo- I had it on PC and I really loved it. I thought the um the storyline was really good. Um I I loved it. I loved it. I just dogs. wanted to kill people, really. Mm. I liked the fact that it was quite um it was quite bloody as well. Oh yeah, yeah it was. You you had that one. Mm. But um but yeah, so that's that's what I think so good about Red Dead Redemption because it is it's just yeah and everyone loves a good western. Everyone loves a good western. And I love riding on ponies too. <laughs> that is fun and when you get a better mount and it's like, yay, it's like I'm playing World of Warcraft. I'm just, I'm just joking. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like, you heard it here first. Red Dead is like playing World of Warcraft. Oh, wow. So we're going to move straight on to Nintendo Switch. Yes. The now, long... I know you're very sorry. excited about this, so I'm going to well, let you... No, I'm not. I, do you know what? I feel like a really bad gamer because I didn't even know Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch was coming out. Really? I didn't even know about it. No, I literally heard a couple of things and I was like, oh, when's it coming out? I mean, Nintendo have been a bit back, not back to front. I was really looking forward to Zelda. Yeah. Um, And then there was the Wii U. Was that their last console release, I think, was the Wii U, wasn't it? Wasn't it? And that was a bit... Mario uh, Maker? Yeah, um, I mean, I just wasn't, like, Nintendo for me hadn't done anything that was that exciting for a while. Okay, I seriously thought you would have, like, really loved, you know. Is it Mario Maker? I think so. Oh, on the 3DS, ah, see. There you go. Yeah, see, I hadn't, I didn't even have a Wii U. I didn't, I don't, I only have a Nintendo DS right beside me. And then I have my mm. old Game Boy as well. Yeah, so I didn't have the Wii U. I had a Nintendo Wii, and then I had a Nintendo DS, and then the Wii U came out, and I was just like, hmm, looks kind of lame. <laughs> looks kind of lame. Um, but then this Nintendo Switch came out, and I was like, this looks insane. Where has this came from? And I like the fact that they heavily use Skyrim. Yes. In the um, trailer. You can, use, you can go on the plane, and you have Skyrim on your freaking thing. I mean... Who doesn't want that? Um, yeah, and I was looking at the Nintendo Switch partners. So, what game studios are it? So, you've got Bethesda, so like Fallout 4 and Ooh. stuff like that. Obviously, like um, Skyrim, Capcom. Oh, yes. Uh, Sorry, um, that just excites me. Sega, EA, Havoc, Bandai, Namco. So, Dark Souls and the Wii U. Um, not Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Um, Square Enix, Ubisoft, like, everyone's on here, pretty That's much. That's great. So. I mean, but price-wise, I just saw in Australian dollars, it's going to be almost a grand. Really? Yes. See? Ooh, okay. That's that's crazy. Let's have a little look. I haven't even looked at the price. I've just been like, oh my god, that looks good. Yeah, um, it says that you can pre-order it for $999. Ooh, okay. Yeah. That's... Yeah, okay, I just... So that's quite a bit. I know it's going to have a... What is it? It's having a graphics... It's having a video graphics card in it, isn't it? Hmm. That's going to be yeah. sweet as fuck. Yeah. It's weird, though, because I just read... I'm just reading a couple of things. It's like... Despite being the only third-party titles to feature heavily in the Switch trailer, Bethesda and 2K Games couldn't actually confirm whether their titles are in development for the Switch. Whoa. So that's weird that's that they'd bit, use games yeah. in the in the um, trailer that might not even be. But yeah, it, it just looks awesome. It looks awesome, especially for people who like travel a lot. And then anyone on the go, really. I mean, like if you want to. But just think, do you really want to travel all the time with something that's almost a grand on you? Mm. I mean, if you get that stolen, <laughs> there'd be like an epidemic of epidemic. 
That's a illness, isn't it? Will there be like this like frenzy of people just mugging people for their like Nintendos? Mm, that is true actually because it's like when's the last time it was like the last time I had a handheld console was the PSP probably um, but yeah there isn't any other kind of handheld console that rivals it at the moment I don't know maybe they're trying to bring, bring the handheld console back I don't really know I see. Okay. I look at it and I'm like oh yeah I would really use that but then it's like would I? I'm I'm really excited anyway I'm mainly excited because of all the like publishers that have confirmed that they're developing games for it or in development, um, and obviously Zelda. Um, so I think it's going to be one to watch, or it might be a massive flop like the Wii U. Well, I say the Wii U <laughs> was a flop. I just, just yeah, it is a bit of a flop. Let's be honest. Mm. I just like I don't know any. I don't know anyone that's got one. I, I don't except like. Twitch streamers, but I don't really know them personally, so... <laughs> I'm like, I know you. They're so cheap now, actually. I just googled it. They're like 230 quid. That's, that's decent. I mean, when were they were released about... Not too long ago? Maybe? Mm. Uh. Knows. Anyway, next game we're going to go on to is a game which I'm very, very excited about. And you are very excited about, too. It's The Last Guardian. <gasps> Last Guardian. This the, this has definitely been one to watch since Shadow of the Colossus, which was probably one of the best games ever, ever on PS ever. on PS2, which was 2005. So this is 10 years in the making. It is well. beautiful. The graphics <gasps> look so nice. I will admit, I watched some gameplay from Booty Pie. Yes, I watched some gameplay too from from <laughs> Pew. It's the same. From such Pew. such such fan girls over here. Hello. But it looks beautiful. I can't wait. I think it's just been released for us, maybe. Oh, it's, really? Its initial release date was the 6th of December this year. Okay. But from what I can see, it says I've waited a very long time to say this. I think it's released because it's showing me places I can buy it. Hmm. That's weird. December the 6th, I've got. I think this is going to be my next purchase. And again... PS4. PS4 only, so another reason. Another reason <laughs> you get it. <laughs> well, this is going to be like a really biased podcast, but now nah, to be fair, I'm PC, I much prefer PC to anything else, but yeah, another reason PS4 is awesome, because it's PS4 exclusive, so. That, yeah, because, you know, like Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, I must say I'm really looking forward to that this year, if it comes out this year. It's, yeah, is, is it? that due to be out this year? I think so. The, mm. the new Final Fantasy is Kingdom Hearts 3, I believe it is. I haven't been involved in Kingdom Hearts for ages now. So but good. I I feel like I need to fall back into that chapter of my life. Oh, you will, don't worry, you will. Yeah, Everyone so there's, there's, so, there's so many. Um, ex- yeah, and little, I just, oh, little Trico. That's the giant mammal thing oh it's so cute and adorable i thought i thought it was called chico for a second but it's called trico Trico. and it's so beautiful and yeah magical i mean how would we describe it for people who haven't played shadow of the colossus um for someone a game in which (laughs) is a puzzle game but at the same time you've got you're overwhelmed by the visuals and you're overwhelmed by having an amazing companion yeah, I mean, yeah, action, puzzle, um, just, yeah, yeah, definitely con- concentrate on the visuals, looks absolutely amazing, I will be one of the first people to buy it, that might be, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope to have all my streaming set up and do streams for Last Guardian, because I think, I think that'll be a fun, a fun game to play together. Well, that actually moves us straight on to our next segment that was very nice that was very smoothly done i'm smooth i'm smooth, smooth right there. <laughs> on to your twitch channel i literally there, there hasn't really been an update for me so i apologize i am um, been so busy with work and so busy in in life but i am all set up the next thing that i need to buy is a camera if anyone can recommend me one yep i've got Lawrence. I've got a camera and a microphone I can recommend that you can use. 
and a mic, so hopefully our podcast won't sound so horrible. And my side of things, not on Lauren's beautiful voice side of things. Thank you. Thank you so but yeah, much. Um, I'm, all, I'm all set up. I did controversially say to Lauren earlier that I was going to buy a gaming laptop, but I think I've decided that my brain just had a bit of a brain melt. And <laughs> yeah, it is okay. Like, we got her back from the dark side. I mean, like, she was like, you know what, maybe I should get a razor and I was like maybe <laughs> maybe you should <laughs> maybe you could put the money to good juice and get an amazing amazing computer I'm just a bit of a razor loser like I like the projects they look nice you know they're, they're good like the la- if you're gonna buy a gaming laptop I think razor gaming laptops are probably the way to go yeah 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 um, but yeah for the, for the price I mean I will just build a pc that is better there than you my go. and then you can always rubbish. just like throw stuff in the pc like if you need a new graphics card just throw it in yeah exactly i mean it's the cheaper way to go in the long yeah. in, the, in the long side of stuff so yeah i'm i'm pretty much all there on that i just need to um yeah actually start filming and just picking a game i think that i want to actually yeah do you know what? I think you'd be amazing playing Fallout because you have so much love for that game. Mm. Well, yeah, it's weird. Like, I haven't played Fallout now for like a few days just purely because I feel like I've done it all. So I feel like I might have to download all the DLCs, just check if I've missed any and just what? be like, right. It's funny you should say that because it's on sale on Steam right now for £19. I know. I actually saw that this morning because I've got it for PS4. Dun, dun, dun. Which dun, was the biggest, dun, dun. which was the biggest mistake of my life so far. I mean, we talk about mistakes. Buying Fallout 4 on the PS4 was the biggest mistake of my life so far. Why, why was it a mistake? <laughs> well, it wasn't. It was just like I just wish that I bought it on the PC. Because then you no, could have all the modded DLC. Yeah, basically, I I just could have had everything, and it would have run better and smooth and <laughs> yeah, and nice and. And then I wouldn't have had to share it with someone else, and <laughs> I could have just played it whenever I wanted. Um, oh, the struggle was real. So yeah, so I am looking to purchase. My next purchases will be a webcam, webcam, microphone, microphone. And are, are you going to be one of those League of Legend girls? No, because I'm so I'm so shit anyway. I'm so shit, it's un- unreal. I just honestly enjoy it. Good. Like, I I really enjoy League. I really just enjoy playing ARAM, though, which anyone who plays League will just say, mm, you suck when you play ARAM. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll take that. I much prefer um, action RPGs like Dark Souls or, yeah, just action whatever. I First need part. to get... Um, wait, no, I, I got you Counter-Strike, didn't I? Yes, I have Counter-Strike. I'm we ready to, to go. play that at some point. I know. So, literally, we need to... Um, this is like post... This isn't even podcast talk right now, but everyone this else is, can listen. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We will, we will try and schedule streams. Well, I will try and schedule streams. Um, or, like, just nights where I play games. Game nights. Game night. Game, game nights. Night. Um... Which is super fun, um, but yeah, obviously microphone, cam, and if I had loads of money, VR. Ooh, that was so smooth right there. See, I'm like, so good at this. Like, it's like you just so know good. what you're going for. You're like, you know what? <laughs> it's yeah. like we might have wrote stuff that we want to talk about. It's Dude, weird, isn't transitions it? transitions are so smooth. I didn't even <laughs> see that coming. <laughs> So, yeah, um, next thing. I think maybe we'll have a jingle for, like, <laughs> <laughs> next thing. Dun, 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 dun. Like, a, like a really metal riff, like, tuk, 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 tuk. Yeah, get yeah. your boyfriend to do some riffs. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Um, play, yeah, so PlayStation headset, PlayStation VR came out. When, what day? It came out yesterday, it feels. Yesterday. No, it was, like, I think it was last week. Last week came out. It's... It's really expensive. It's three fifty. Um, it looks awesome. Have you have you tried one out or? I no, I really want to try one out. I've had a little demo, but it wasn't when it was out. Now it was like at a thing a while ago. 
convention, right? Yeah. So I've had a look. I've watched loads of gameplay videos and I've watched loads of reviews on them, and they look awesome. But I don't know whether I'll be purchasing one yet, just purely because the amount of games that are out for them. I mean, there's not a lot. Like Batman VR looks sick. I don't. That know if does. You've seen I've that. seen some yeah. photos of that. That looks so good. Um, but yeah, I just don't know whether it's worth the three fifty yet, just purely because of the games that are available. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like, yeah, I feel like for a VR experience, you could possibly get the Samsung Gear, which is only like seventy, eighty quid now. So yeah, so you you have that of the HTV Vive. Yeah, I haven't seen much of the HTC Vive. Is that so? That's is that for gameplay as well, or I is it? So, yeah. Okay. Or you have the Oculus Rift. Mm. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't heard much of Oculus Rift for ages. Like I, I, I just keep seeing trailers on Steam for different like VR systems, and I know my graphics card can handle it now. So yes. Oh, yeah. Did you have you have you have you been boasted about your upgrade yet? I mean, that could definitely. No. No, no. Yeah, you, you upgraded. I did upgrade my graphics card. It's now ten times better, ten times faster. Which is pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. I'm debugging my PC for it and trying to get it into the actual tower. That mm. that was painful because it is huge. Like I kid you not, you open the box, it's this huge ass graphics card, and I have like a small tower. Yeah. And I was trying to get it in, and like I was moving everything around, pulling out wires, ripping other ones out, and you know, that shit just happened really. <laughs> That's good though. It's good though. So we'll um. We'll be able to play in like full resolution. I'll be stuck on four eighty, um, and you'll be. <laughs> And you'll be full 4K, you know, rocking around, and I'll just be awful. Um, and that'll be loads of fun. But yeah, so there's loads, like, when I'm actually sorted, there'll be loads for us to talk about, which will be exciting. Um, but yeah, so it's like that time of year where there's loads of titles out, and we can't play them yet. So. Yeah, but it's also that time of year when it's almost Halloween. <gasps> This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Do you can like we, how I did that? Can, yeah, that was really sick as well. Like, that was really good. Um, can we like put some like Halloween jingle here? Like, do, 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 oh, this is where I have. To, yeah, sure. Let's just. I will throw some music in there. I'll insert. Throw some, yeah, I will. Insert I Halloween clip here. I will. It will probably get demonetized, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. No, this happens. Ro- royalty free. Halloween. Halloween jingles. music. Yes, I will do that. I did want. No, never before Christmas, but yes. Sorry, I'm I'm so I'm so bossy of you. I'm like in this uh, Halloween jingle. Do it now. <laughs> like, please stop it, Hans. What What are you doing for Halloween? My parents are really excited, and they're going to be dressing up, and we're going to give out candy to loads of people. Yeah, I'm not going to like a cool party. I think I got invited to a couple of Halloween parties. I probably shouldn't put this in the podcast in case people listen who have invited me to these Halloween parties. Yes. But I don't want to go. So, <laughs> sauce. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. No, they, they won't listen. It's fine. Um, just use the hide function on Facebook. Share with, hide from. <laughs> oh, zing. <laughs> zing. <laughs> I'm not mean. I'm just antisocial. No, I'm kidding. Um... <laughs> I'm going to Halloween party with my family and I am trying to do a really bad cosplay slash dress up of Eleven from Stranger Things. Ooh. But I'm worried that no one will even remotely get who I am. They will so. because it's so hipster right now that everyone it's knows what so, Stranger Things is. so hipster. So I've bought, and it's not like the bald Eleven, it's like when she wears the little blonde wig and I'm going to yeah, have like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have like nose and I'm going to wear like a dress and I'm going to try and find a box of box of um waffles um and it's gonna be great um or egos as they call them but i loved stranger things and i saw a blogger do it and i was like well that's a really cheap way for me to do it yeah yeah. so um yeah are you dressing up or i am as harley quinn not the new harley Quinn. oh what (laughs) not the new harley quinn the old harley quinn I have like this kind of like hoodie, not hoodie, it's really hard to explain. It's like a dress with a hood and it's in like all the kind of colour scheme of the old Harley Quinn with the red and the black and all the stuff. It looks kind of nice. I'll let you off. I'll let yeah. you off. There I was a... <laughs> 
No, old Harley Quinn's cool. New Harley Quinn's awesome. There was a meme, again, like, if this was a video, it'd be like, insert meme. But there's it's a meme a online meme. of a girl dressed up as Harley Quinn. It's like, so you watch Su- Suicide Squad? And she's like, no. <laughs> I was like, that's, that's going to be every girl on Halloween. Yeah, um, like, oh my god. I really I just... wanted to do something, like, scary or cool, but... Well, we could always go meet up and do that amazing attraction in London. Oh, no, actually, I wanted to ask you something. I've I've asked a lot of people growing up, have you ever played a horror game, which is on VHS, called Nightmare? No, it's like never a board heard of game. it. It's a board game, and you play it, and there's With a countdown the... on the screen, and there's this, like, scary presenter. Nightmare. Can we play it? I feel like... We need to play we can, this. And if you want to play it, we we also we also need to find a co-op scary game. Cause I am awful at horror games. I get so scared, it's horrible. But I kind of enjoy them. So yeah. Is there any I, co-op horror games? Co-op horror games. I think is. Uh... Sorry, you're gonna, both you're gonna hear me. Like you're gonna hear me googling. Sorry. Dead Island, Dying Light, um, Dead Rising, Resident Evil. Res- Resident Evil, I play. I love Resident Evil. I don't find them horror games. No, no, no. They're, they're not just... scary. Um, Dying Light is a co-op horror game. We could game. play some Left 4 Dead or Dead Rising. Mm. Yeah, Dead Dead Rising is... Is that scary? I want a scary game. Is there any scary horror games? Oh, Fear. Was that a, was that a co-op? Anyway, I'm rant- I'm I'm rambling now. Rambling, rambling. Um, yeah, I think Fear's a horror game. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see. But yeah, the, I've just googled this nightmare VHS anyway. The video game. Dun dun dun. That looks scary. And it is. I played it every year with like my whole family at Halloween. It's just... nightmare. It's oh okay. I've never heard of that. It's a VHS and a board game. That looks yeah. awesome. Talking of board games, do you like Dungeons and Dragons? I love Dungeons and Dragons. Can we play, please? Yes, that's why I was going to ask you. Where can it's we play? Right now, we're going to play right here, right now. What? You can play online, can't you? Yeah, you have to find people and stuff, and then get together and have a little, little group. I have heard that it's okay online, but I like actually playing the board game. <laughs> We can meet up and we can play Dungeons and Dragons. We need to find other people who will play with us too. Would you play Dungeons and Dragons with me? Find people who play Dungeons and Dragons. Is that like on Gumtree or like Craigslist? Is it like a Gumtree or Craigslist? Like, can we, yeah, can we... Yeah, We're we... fine people, don't worry, we're fine people. Put, put a little shout out, we're, um... Well, I suppose the most local place to both of us is London. Yeah, if anyone wants to play Dungeons and Dragons with us, either online on Twitch or in person, then please do drop us an email. Insert, insert jingle. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Dungeons and Dragons. Something like that. Well, that kind of actually takes us to the end of our podcast this week. Was that 30 minutes? Yes, 30 minutes. Jesus. I mean... That's... <sighs> We need but, to pod- we need to podcast more. We need a schedule. We'll we'll try and do it on a Sunday. Yeah, we're sorry everyone that we've had such a delay. Like it's been both of all like we just haven't got round to it. So. Mainly me. No, mainly me as well because I haven't been like in the know of it at all. But yeah, uh, thank you again for being with me, Jade. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Thanks. So it's um. Lauren, which is Toxic X Valentine on all your stuff. Yep. And you are? In Heretics. I'm on Heretics with one eye on most stuff and two eyes on Insta and all that jazz. But I'm going to start Twitter too to annoy Lauren with. Yes! Which will be fun. Yes! Annoy me with all the tweets and retweets. Social media whores. No, just because I get yeah. incredibly. No, I probably shouldn't talk about work on here, but yeah, I'm totally not on Twitter. Yeah, but we we make her on Twitter. It's fine, in in a different dimension, not really this dimension. Yeah, exactly. And then um yeah, so yeah, that was that was loads of fun. I'm I'm looking forward to um hearing all the jingles and jangles. Ooh, editing time for me, I suppose. Right, guys, thank you for checking this out, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any requests, comments, or any s- subjects you want us to talk about, leave it below. 
See you later. Bye. Bye.